Hey guys, what's up? In this video, we'll be going through how we can fix task scheduler error 0x8007057. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. So the first solution is to restart the service. So the first step is to hit Windows key along with R to open up the run dialog. And then we'll be entering services.msc and hit enter. So once the services are open, scroll down to the task scheduler service and then double click on the service and click on general tab. So once you are in the general tab, click startup type options and select the automatically option from the list now click on run options and then click on recovery tab so once that's done click on the after first failure option and select restart the service once that's done click on after second failure option and then restart the service here also then click on after second failure option and then select restart the service here also. Then finally click after subsequent failures tab and select the restart service option. Then finally click apply and hit OK and then run the task scheduler and check to see if the issue persists or not. So the second solution is to disable the antivirus if you have it on your PC. So once your antivirus is disabled, you can try to run up the program and see if you still get the error or not. You can also try to add an inclusion for task scheduler and try to remove it from the block list. Or you can change the antivirus if it still blocks the task scheduler from running. So the third solution involves in using an administrator account on your PC. Normally, if you use a user account which doesn't have administrative privileges, you can often see this error. Sometimes the task scheduler requires special permissions in order to run properly so you can try running with administrator account and hopefully this should resolve the issue so the fourth solution involves checking for updates uh, go to start menu and click the settings icon then click on updates and security option and then select windows updates from the left panel then click the check for updates option and wait while for windows to check for new updates in case there is any update make sure that you install it so we hope that one of these solutions would have worked out for you uh, in case this helped you out, make sure that you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you in the next one guys. Take care. Bye.